Hello students. In this video, we will study about different generations of computer. There are five generations of computer. First generation of computer is from 1940 to 1956. Second generation of computer is from 1956 to 1963. Third generation of computer is from 1964 to 1971. Fourth generation of computer is from 1971 till present. Fifth generation of computer is present and beyond. From the displayed image, we can clearly see that how technology is being changed with respect to time. Gradually, the hardware and software components developed and passed through many generations. In computer world, the term generation refers to the word change in the technology. In every generation, the computer technology become more advanced than the previous one. There were many developments made during each generation which are discussed as different generations of computer. The first generation of computer was from 1940 to 1956 and its main component was vacuum tube. The first generation of computer used vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for memory. The first generation computers were able to perform only one problem at a time. The image shown here is vacuum tube. ENIAC, EDVAC, UNIVAC 1 are the examples of first generation computer. So, first generation of computer was from 1940 to 1956. First generation computers used vacuum tube technology. The size of computers were huge, almost the size of a big room. They used to generate a lot of heat due to presence of numerous vacuum tubes. The first generation computers used machine level language. First generation computers made possible the development of ENIAC by Professor J. Presper Eckert and John Moshley. Later on, an advanced version of ENIAC electronic, numeric, integrator and calculator was developed with the name UNIVAC. Universal Automatic Computer. That was world's first commercial computer. Second generation of computer from 1956 to 1963. Its main component was transistor. The second generation of computers replaced vacuum tubes by transistors. Transistors used punch cards for input and print out for output. The image shown on the screen are transistors. IBM 7090 and CDC 3600 are examples of second generation computer. Second generation of computer was from 1956 to 1963. The second generation computer used transistors replacing vacuum tubes. With the invention of transistors, the computers became smaller in size, faster and more reliable. During this period, the first operating system was developed to communicate with computers. During this period, some high-level languages like COBOL, Common Business Oriented Language and Basic, Beginners All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code were also developed. Some examples of second generation are IBM 7090, CDC 3600, etc. Third generation of computer was from 1964 to 1971 and its main component was integrated circuits. Transistors were made smaller in size and placed on silicon chips. It increased the speed and efficiency of computers. It can solve many problems at a time and the image shown on the screen is transistor. IBM 360 and PDP-11 are example of third generation computer. Third generation of computer was from 1964 to 1971. 
The concept of integrated circuit made a major breakthrough to improve the quality as well as the performance of computers. An integrated circuit is a compact electronic circuit containing hundreds of transistors and other electronic components, which are packed on a thin piece of semiconductor materials known as IC chip. This generation made possible the invention of mainframe computer. Some examples of third generation are IBM 360, PJP 11, etc. Fourth generation of computer began from 1971 and continues till present, and its main component is microprocessor. Thousands of integrated circuits were built onto a single silicon chip. As these small computers became more powerful, they could be linked together to form networks, which eventually led to the development of the internet. The image shown on the screen is microprocessor. All the form of computers that you look around yourself like desktop computers, laptops, mobile phones, tablets, iPods, etc. are examples of fourth generation computer. Fourth generation of computer from 1971 till present. In the year 1975, an integrated circuit was developed, which could hold thousands of transistors on a single component. This technique is known as large-scale integration or microprocessor. The concept of microprocessor came into existence with this generation, which led to the development of microcomputer. Today, Intel Core series is considered to be one of the most powerful microprocessor developed by the Intel Corporation USA. All personal computers manufactured by IBM, Apple, Dell, Compaq, Lenovo, etc. belong to the fourth generation computers. Fifth generation of computer, present and beyond. Its major component is artificial intelligence. Fifth generation computer will come close to bridging the gap between computing and thinking. Because of these advances in technology, we can now make movies, create 3D animations, able to play video games, create music, able to do school works, do business, transportation, navigation, space technology, and many more. Example of fifth generation computer are robots. Robots are programmed to carry out certain tasks. They decide themselves as how the task should be accomplished. Presently, Alexa and Siri are examples of fifth generation. Fifth generation of computer is present and beyond. The fifth generation computer are based on artificial intelligence the main objective of fifth generation is to develop a device that could respond in a natural way. It will be capable of thinking, learning and will have the power of human intelligence. Now let us take a look on characteristics of different generation computers. Here characteristics of first and second generation computer are listed below. Characteristics of third and fourth generation computer are listed below. Characteristics of fifth generation computer are listed below. Now, based on the topics discussed in this video, here few exercises are mentioned for you. You are requested to write these exercises in your notebook and learn them. Exercise A, write full form of the following. First, COBOL. Second, ENIAC. Third, BASIC. Fourth, UNIVAC. Exercise B, write main components of following generation. A, first generation. B, second generation. C, third generation. D, fourth generation. E, fifth generation. Exercise C, write time period of following generations. A, fifth generation. B, fourth generation. C, third generation. D, second generation. E, first generation.
Exercise G A. Who invented Inayak? B. Write characteristics of fifth generation computer. C. Write characteristics of third generation computer. That's all for today's video. Thank you.